Well, drinking a little reverse osmosis water. I've been doing that a lot lately. They sell it at the stores. You get like a five gallon jug and it's got a tap on it. I just throw it on top of the fridge. I feel like the camera's up too high. Is that better? Yeah, I like it. And uh, was reading this story about a man named Edgar Casey. You've probably heard of him. Pretty brilliant story. It's like the life of Ed Edgar Casey. And uh, the guy would like going go into a trance, and he this was way back in the day, you know, too. And uh, like the late 1800s, I want to say. And he would like go into a like a deep sleep. Somebody would hypnotize him. He'd lay on a bed. Somebody would hypnotize him, which was usually I think his dad, in fact. And uh, or he would put himself to sleep, and then his dad would give him the instructions. And they'd set somebody down in front of him that you know, had been to various doctors, and they couldn't cure him, couldn't help him, and uh, anyway, uh, so being, while being under the trance, somebody else or something or whatever would speak through Edgar, and they would, he would tell him, you know, or they or it would tell him, here's what's wrong, here's what you need to do to correct it, and it was amazing how often it was diet and water, and they talked about water was so important. And uh, they need to drink pure water and lots of it to help flush the system. And uh, my drummer, Rod, uh, he's really big into water and stuff like that. He has this reverse osmosis water. So I thought, what the heck? And I started getting five-gallon buckets of it, and it tastes great, you know, and it's always there. And I find myself drinking a lot more water because that five-gallon, you know, of water is sitting there always looking me in the face. So just a little something, whatever. Anyway, here's what we're here to talk about. We're going to revisit the Vivian Oberg for just a second because I did a little trick today and it was pretty sweet. Um, I used a little knife and I opened up the air holes. Now, before I've used a drill, but a drill is kind of tough because the metal is so soft, the drill will go right through it, and the next thing you know, you might go through the center part, which screws up your connections, and then you're dead in the water, man. And uh, so. I recommend this trick, you know, um, the heads can be a bear. I go for the dual coils, I go for the top coil, Vision Vivianova. What I love about it is it is 100% flavor. A lot of people have compared it with a Cardo tank or a Cardomizer, same thing really, and uh, in flavor, which is about as good as it gets, you know. Um, dual coil heads are running $2.99 a piece, and uh, I get a pack of five of them is what I usually do, and that's what you get. And uh, blister pack there. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What else? What else? What else? Oh, the Vision Vivi Nova itself will run you 11 bucks. The other thing I like about it is it's a vape on a budget and a fantastic one. I have had tank after tank after tank, and there is not much that could ever compete with the Vivi Nova. But, you know, it is cheaply built. And uh, the base can wear out on you. Uh, well, what wears out is the threads. Get my camera back. The threads here on the bottom, that is what wears out. And, and I'm focusing, and yeah. Now, the threads will wear out, but that's okay, because you can get new bases for them. And uh, they're you know available at uh, Vapor Alley, that's where I get them. And uh, now take a look there, see that hole? That is one of two air holes. Turn it around, there's the other. They are tiny, guys, they are tiny. Tiny, and it it feels that way when you're taking a draw of it. Now look what I did here. You know the, this is the base in the tank. Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what do I look at? The camera or the actual event here? See that whole size difference that I that I got there? You turn that around, you can really see the other side. Look what I did to that side, man. That's a little better. <laughs> yeah, quite a difference there, don't you think? Quite a difference. And that opens up a ton of airflow. And I used, instead of a drill, I used a knife. Like, picture a good stiff knife that you have sitting in your knife rack, the smallest one. You know, so you've got a, a, a knife set. The smallest knife in there that's just like the little stubby knife, the little end of it, you know, a decent knife. I just used the very tip, and I just started spinning it. It was kind of going like that. And pushing and spinning. 
and keep an eye on it because it goes quick. The next thing you know, that like that big hole on there, I didn't mean to make it that big, but whatever, it was no big deal. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, crap, it's already done. All right, went to the other side, cranked, cranked, and uh, made that one a little bigger. And I was amazed what it made this Bibi Nova do. Like, check it out, man. Look at the vapor and uh, the flavor and everything's still there. Top coil so you can get a nice hot vape. And you can even crank up the wattage a little more because you've upped your airflow. So check it, check it, check it, check it. Ton of vapor. What I love about the Vivinova is that whatever flavor you are working on, um, it is not going to be muted in the slightest. Guys, I've had the Nautilus, I've had the Aero Tank, I've had the uh, uh, the iClear 30, which I love. I still love the iClear 30. Um, and I love the Nautilus. I still love the Aero Tank. Um, but they are all muted in comparison to the Vivinova. And let me just take a little take a little hit of the old IP30 while I have it out handy. You know, yes, these tanks are built better, but they are more expensive. And that's something that I've always been a fan uh, with the Vivanova of or about is that uh, it's cheap. And I like that. I like cheap products that every vapor can afford, especially the beginners. Especially one like the Vivinova that can give you such a fantastic flavor, even better than, you know, tanks that you'll pay 50, 60 bucks for. So that's that vapor, and that it, I'm not knocking the iClear 30 at all, guys. I dig the iClear 30, and right now the flavor is very good. Pay attention to the vapor on this, and let's try to uh, try to remember it. But it's starting to get a little burnt. The heads in the i 30 don't last near as long as the heads in a Vivinova. Another thing that will save you money. Not only is it a cheaper tank and possibly cheaper heads, but the heads last longer, way longer. I usually get a month out of a head, whereas I only get four to, four days to a week out of a head in this. Maybe about the same. The Vivinova, because I'm able to crank the Vivinova a little hotter than the IQ30 without it burning. I want to say that I might be getting a touch more vapor out of the Vivinova too, so that's just something, you know. Vapor doesn't quite matter as much to me as, because I mean, a lot of the products now, we get plenty of vapor from them. But I just like the fact that the taste is so good. I can get a hotter vape, and uh, which I'm a fan of. You know, if you're not a fan of that, then none of this maybe matters to you. But it's still a great tank because plenty of people I know that like a cool vape that still love the Vivinova. You know, but there are these little tricks. So I'm going to go over them again. I've got other videos that talk about this. Setting up the Vivinova is a great video, uh, but I'm going to talk about this now. Like, say I got a brand new head here, right? I'm going to pop it out of the thing, maybe. Brand new dual coil head. Now you're going to have that little rubber cap on top. And uh, let's go ahead and focus this up nice for you. There we go. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is pop that cap off, just like so. And there's notches in that cap. The only two notches go the wicks at the top. There's top wicks and bottom wicks. As you can see there, the wicks at the top go in between those two notches. And uh, so the first thing I always do is um, I grab one set of wicks. I'm going to do one at the top, one on the bottom. And I just kind of grab a wick, just pick any one or any old one, and see how I'm pulling that out? Pull it out. Because these things are, you know, done at a factory, and they're always wrapped too tight. So this is a quick fix to cure that right away. And I, like I say, I just do this immediately. Go to the bottom part, right next to that other one, see? And just grab one. Pull it up, and you're good. At that point, I like to pour a little bit of juice, you know, a couple of drops right down the top. 
And I usually even kind of, you know, go like that. But then what I recommend now is I just had a problem. Of course, you're going to put your, uh, going to put your cap back on. So we're going to find the notches, right? Find the notches. We're going to go to the top with that. See if I can make this happen. Line up our notch. Simple as that. Now, usually before I put it in, put it in, I just just raise the top. See how that top is raised? I just leave it right there. Then I screw it into the base, like so. And I've already primed it at this point. Uh, you know, it, and then uh, yeah, good to go. And then uh, once uh, you put the actual tank section over it and put the top cap on, any play that it has, it'll push it the rest of the way down. And uh, I do this trick with all my tanks like this that I'm able to. And most of the clear misers, you can the bottom and the top. See, I was messing. I'm holding the bottom now. Screw it, and I get it to where it's just starting to get snug, and I leave it alone. Same with the top. It's nice and loose right now. Snug. Stop. Tilt because it is a top coil, so you're gonna have to tilt. But you'll learn that. You know, your new vapors. This is my favorite setup, and I still recommend it to any new vapors. Um, this is a Tesla. These can be had for around 60 bucks, 65 or something like that. In fact, I've got a website up that I actually bought this Tesla from. And, uh, you know, you can probably get it cheaper on eBay if you want to do that. Okay, $69.95. And it's a lot like a Vambo in the sense that it's so easy to use, which is why I love it and which is why I went for it. I like... I'm always kind of screwing with my voltage and adjusting it up and down. And uh, so, like, let me focus that for you. Oops, it's not working. Yeah, it's kind of, there we go. Now I screwed it up, didn't I? That's about as good as it gets, isn't it? So, like, up, down, you know, just so quick to quickly hit the buttons. And you're up and down, and I like that. The Vamo, uh, Vamo is the same way. However, this is built a little bit better. The threads inside are better. It's just a better quality build. See, this is going to last you longer. The Vamos, I've gotten a year out of a Vamo, but I'm hard on my, on my vapes. I mean, man, my mods, I am so hard on. I'm constantly dropping them. They'll hit the concrete, and uh, which is why I always have to buy new bases for my Vivino because those things will really strip out. Now, if you're never dropping them and, and stuff, you know, and you can get away a few times possibly with it, but it only takes once. It's kind of like having a baby. <laughs> Just ask me and my wife. Anyway, um, <laughs> they're not accidents, though. They're pleasant surprises. Anyway, um... So that can happen. But if you don't drop it, you're never going to have an issue. You know, if you take better care of your stuff, which is easy to do, let's face it, I am so hard on this stuff. I feel bad for that, but I'm always on the go with it. I'm, you know, climbing these big ladders to get up on the train and come down. And, and uh, it's just, it just happens, man. And I'm just clumsy, I guess. So what can I say? Um, so there's that. Now, if you wanted a Vamo, because we're kind of talking about beginners, and in case, you know, let's just case this for the beginners. Right now, you can get a Vamo V5, which is fantastic. The OLED screen, exactly the same type of screen setup and menu system that you saw here. For, if you were just here, Vamo V5. And it's got the removable cap at the top will remove, so you can clean that off good. Uh, 18650 batteries or 18350 batteries or stacked 18350s, whatever you dig, 18650s, all you need. But if you want a nice, short, compact one, one 18350, go for it. I don't know why, but hey, have fun with that. It's all up to you. Uh, 5699 And uh, you might be able to get those cheaper on eBay as well. But uh, that's what those are going for. That, and then, of course, you know, you, let's face it, you're going to need some batteries. 18650 batteries, 2,500 milliamps, 10 bucks a piece. 18350 is a little short, guys, which I don't recommend, but if you want them, 11 bucks a piece. Huh, there you go. Um, what else? Anything else in here that are... You can get a leather carrying couch lanyard. Maybe that's what I need. $7.99. And uh, so, yeah, you'll want two batteries. So figure 20 bucks for batteries. Uh, 57 bucks for this. And then, of course, you want a 18650 charger. 
and you want a good charger. Use good chargers. Now there's, uh, let's see, there's other battery options here, 18650s, uh, 2250 milliamps, which I've had very good luck with that are 899. So, you know, a dollar cheaper there. Um, where's the chargers, man? There we go. Like I said, I recommend good chargers. Um, Here's a really good one for 40 bucks, and that's like pimping, man. Four batteries at a time. You know, you don't really have to have that. There's some. There's one for 30 bucks, and that's a good-looking charger as well. It looks like good quality. So let's think about that. If indeed you go with two batteries at, uh, we'll say 20 bucks. You know, we'll just guess high. Um, and you get the Bamo. What did I say? 57 bucks. That should be about right. And you get the charger um, for thirty bucks, hundred and seven bucks plus a Vivinova, plus a pack of five heads, two ninety nine. You know it's a discounted rate, I believe, though if you get five. So say Joe, though we'll just say three bucks a piece. Three six nine twelve fifteen bucks fifteen bucks. And uh, tell you what, we'll even throw. Um, shipping on there, which will only be like seven bucks at the most. Three plus seven. Look at that, 140 bucks there. Now, if you shop around and stuff, and it's probably going to be cheaper than that by the time you actually get it together, because it's a package deal and stuff. And uh, and you can shop around and probably find it cheaper still. But uh, that is an excellent setup, you know. And if you want to go with 20 bucks more, get yourself uh, something that's still so easy to use, so user friendly that you can just use it right out of the box and quickly get the hang of it. Um, spend another 20 bucks, and you get a lot better quality uh, mod, and this will probably last a lot longer. So there's my quick little beginner's pitch, um, and those you know that trick you can do with Vivio to make them better. And uh, but almost every tank has that. Almost every tank has a trick that you can do something to it to get it to work just a little bit better. And uh, that's just part of the vaping world, part of the hobby of it. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just tasting so good. I just, I love it. Anytime a cheap, cheap ass tank works as well as this is right now and usually does, I'm always thrilled because it's like right on, man. 11 bucks, boom, that's what you get. And that always excites me. Um, still working on the K Fun. Uh, I'm almost to the conclusion there. We're so close. But Loris asked a question. Do, do, do. She got herself a Delta from Joytech. I'm a huge fan of Joytech. Why am I huge, a huge fan of Joytech? You have the Evic. You have the Joy Ego Twist. Everybody knows how much I love the Ego Twist. That's the other thing. For beginners that are watching, watch my beginner's video. Go for the Joy Ego Twist. If you're ever, you know, if you really want to go cheap, if you're just starting out, that's really what I recommend just to start because you can get into the big mods later in VAMOs. That includes the VAMOs. Um, Ego Twist, boom. Ego Twist, 1,000 milliamp, $26.89. Uh, they have, shoot, they have 1,300 milliamps now for 28 bucks. That's pretty sweet. Probably get a day and a half out of that. Um, what else? Oh, they have a vape tray. That's cool, man. You get a vape tray to hold all your mods, man, for $12. $12. Pretty cool looking device. Ego Twist, 1,000 milliamp. That's what I re recommend. You'll get a day out of that. And then you can always buy a second one later. Charger will run you five bucks. You just screw it right in. And uh, so right there, say we did that. Let's look at prices. 27 bucks plus five bucks plus, we'll say $6 shipping. 11 bucks for the tank. 15 bucks for all the heads. That's it. 64 bucks. That'll cover you there. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit cheaper than that. But uh, still, that's what you can get into this for. And that is an excellent quality vape. You will have pretty much equal quality from the Ego Twist to this. And uh, this still will hold charge a little longer. This will also deliver more power. But the Ego Twist goes up to, I believe it's 4.7 volts, which is just fine. Usually it's plenty. 4.8, actually. I think it's 4.8. And that's usually just fine in what you need. And, uh, 
but I have had it before where my buddy Ryan, he always vapes his Ego Twist. He's still sticking with that thing. And he still only has one. He just vapes on it throughout the day, puts it on the charger at night. Most of the time he gets away with it. Every once in a while it goes dead and he's pissed. And then I, I'm usually hooking him, hooking him up with a vape of mine. But, uh, um, or we're just taking turns, you know, spreading the germs around. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but usually he doesn't have a problem. And uh, you just bring your charger with you. You know, it's, it works with the USB. So you can stick it into a plug-in, plug it into the wall, plug it into the computer, plug it into your cigarette lighter in the car, you know, get your adapters. It'll be fine. And uh, so, yeah, you buy a second one later if you want. And then later on, when you're like, oh, I really dig this, grab yourself one of these or a Vamo or anything else that you want. If you want to buy something that's 500 bucks and your budget affords it, hey, more power to you. I love it. So, anyway, Dolores, back to you. That's why I like Joytech. Because my very first real electronic cigarette was just a Joy Ego. And a lot of people's were. And that was when you know, it was the cartridges soaked in a, well, you had a little piece of, like, cotton type thing sticking in this little cartridge. It was like a T-tip. And you would soak that thing. And usually you'd buy them. They were already, you know, soaked. And then they'd dry out. And then they wanted you to just keep buying new ones. But then we learned, okay, we can get juices and we could pour that around the spongy. Usually the first fill we would stick a syringe into it and fill it that way and oh my god and then we would get low res atomizers and we thought we were just we thought we were awesome man. We, we I got a low res atomizer man rocking 3.7 volts and uh, you know it was a pretty good vape. What can I say but it was nothing like what we have here and then we were dripping and I can go on and on. We don't need a history lesson. So that's why I love Joytech because then the Eagle came out, and I was big on that. That was my very first regulated, you know, uh, or variable voltage device, and, and it still delivers to this day. And uh, so Delta from Joytech, I'm interested. I watched some reviews on that. I've been looking into it. People are digging it, so I see that you love it too. That is no surprise. And uh, didn't you have a question? Oh, the K-Fun. Should you get a K-Fun? Well... If I'll say this right now, if you have the money to afford a K Fun Light, and you can skip the clones and go right for the real deal, then I would say go for it, because the quality of the build of that K Fun is it's much better than a clone. Okay, my my clone I already had a problem problem with a a screw dripping out, and then. And it like fell out and just gone. And I don't know why, because it was in there, and now it's just gone. And that was the airflow control. So it's rendered it almost completely useless. I can still vape on it, but it'll never be the same because the juice always pours out. And it always had a problem with flooding anyway, once in a while, and uh, where the K Fun doesn't. The fill hole screw. That one, it's like the screw completely busted off inside or something. I don't know what happened. I didn't even use it much. I've already been using the K Fun. Uh, longer than I, than I was really, you know, using the clone, and it's still going strong. And there's no issue. Everything's working great. Never had a single issue. Not a drop spills out of it where the clone it does. Now that being said, someone else sent me a message today, and uh, here he is, Mr. Jarhead two sixty two. He uses a Typhun, T-A-I-F-U-N. It's different, he says, but is the same idea as the K-Fun. And he thinks, he says, I think the Typhun is an easier build, which is great if you want to ever get into building and give it a shot. Easier is better, especially at first. And uh, it tastes better. In his mind, it tastes better than the K-Fun. And if, it, if, if he's saying that that tastes better than a K-Fun, I want to try it because the K-Fun is awesome for the taste. To me, though, the K-Fun is right on par with the Vivi Nova, which is about as good as, it, as it's ever gotten for me. Or a cardamizer that's just fresh cardamizer, freshly saturated, you know, and you, maybe you put it in the tank, maybe you didn't. But either way, you got a brand new cardo, and you put your favorite juice in there, you got a nice and just saturated. And that first hit is like heaven. And uh, these are pretty much replicate that flavor. 
but uh, they just last a lot longer. Whereas Cardos, I went through one every couple of days. So that's why I've just kind of shied away from them. Um, but every once in a while, I'll still grab one out. I don't usually do the tank thing, but I usually just fill it up and enjoy it, you know, and and that's that. Um, but the Thai fun and the K fun is, is is to me is not like that. You still get a hot vape if you want it. If you want a cool vape, get a cool vape. Either way, uh, which is something to be said with a bottom coil uh, type of a situation there. And uh, yeah, let's see. Um, and it looks awesome on a mod. So hey, what more can you ask for? Thank you, Jarhead262, for that. He's been a very big help. And so that's what I can tell you on that for now. But wait and let me... I'm, I'm going to probably buy that tie fun. Let's look at the tie fun. Let's see if Vapor Alley's got it while I've got him up here. Of course they don't. Let me make sure I spelled it right. Where'd you go? Uh -huh. Your build tastes better and looks awesome. T I A F U N T I A. Oh, okay, I did spell it wrong. T I A F U N. <laughs> Which made no difference. It's still, they still don't have it. Those sons of bitches. T I A F U N. Let me Google it. What do you say? Google. Okay. And I see Mr. Basardo has a 25 minute review. Hey, if that was me, it'd be two hours. <laughs> wonder what he has to say about it. I'll have to look into that. Typhon GT style from Fastex 1965. Um, there's another one for 2242. Why? I don't know. Because they have the same description. Hard to say what's going on there. 4.6 out of 5 stars, 474 reviews, so that says something. There's also the Rocket. Let's see if he said which one he had. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. i got to get to his comments, and because uh, now I'm just curious. I know I should be doing this on my own time, right? There he is. Uh -huh. Oh, there's just one of them. The H Cigar K Fun clone, and he loves that. There's another one, H Cigar K Fun. Another nice tank is the, is the H Cigar Typhon GT, which in my opinion works even better than the K Fun. Yep, so it's the GT model. When he says that it works even better than the K Fun, boom, that's the one I'm interested in. Typhon GT. I assume that's how you say it. So, yeah, he's got the GT. Does anybody else stock this thing? Because I'm generally not a fan of fast tech. Okay, let's go like this. T A I F U N G T. Fast tech go away. For there's another one. Uh, some whatever website. This is 2652 there. Um, vivid smoke. H Cigar Typhoon GT Clone, which has got to be it. That's $48.99 there. H Cigar Typhoon. Okay, so H Cigar is part of the name. So let's put that in there. H Cigar $48.99 at Vivid Smoke. Acrylic Plexi Tank. Huh. Guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more looking on this. Because, um, nothing. Well, it, Planet of the Vapes, but that's UK. Vape Dojo. Alright, let's look at the Vape Dojo, because I'm pretty sure that's in America, isn't it? Sold out. Wow, what a sexy looking tank, too. I'm looking at a picture of it, and it looks really nice. Huh. That looks really nice. I like that. Anyway, they're sold out of them, so keep your eyes open. We could always do the eBay thing. Want to try that? See if they have it. There's one for $33.99. H Cigar Typhoon GT Clone Rebuildable Atomizer. 
RBA, RDA, high quality tank, stainless, $33.99. And I wonder if that's it, HCR type on GT. When they say GT clone, does that mean it's not the real deal? Type on GT rebuildable atomizer, clone. No, okay, looking through here, that's that's got to be. It's got to be the real deal. Okay, did he say anything about that? Um, do, 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 do. Yep, it says right there, it's K-Fun clone. He says K-Fun clone, but the thing that kind of worries me is these eBay auctions are not, you know, flat out saying clone for the K-Fun. But it's got to be, because it's called Typhon. So it has to be, it's got to be a clone for the K-Fun. And, uh, huh. I'm buying one of these. i got to try it. So there's that, Dolores. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And uh, so with that being said, it's been a half hour. We've been just kind of hanging out a little bit. Kind of a quick video, and it's not a quick video at all. But hey, whatever. We're, we're just hanging out. We're just chilling. We ain't got nothing to be. Nothing to be. Nothing to do. Nowhere to be. So let's have a vape, and we'll end it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So try that with your baby Nova. If you've got one, maybe you got one laying around and you didn't like it because it had a, such an uh, such a tight draw. Give that a shot. I don't know. Or don't. I don't care. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next round. Promise. Love you. Goodbye.